The Uganda People's Defense Forces Political Commissar, Kano Felix Kulaije, says the move to pursue the army deserters is a step taken to uproot the practice and instill discipline within the forces. The move is also aimed at ensuring that the errant soldiers do not use their military skills to harass the public following violent crime being linked to the deserters. And the population has expressed interest or worry. Uh, especially given the fact that some of these criminals being arrested, some of them have had the previous ex uh, military exposure. We said, no, it's high time we embarked on these deserters so that we also are in them in court. And uh, it will act two ways. One, you are weeding out potential threats to public order, but most importantly, it's also deterrence to those of us who are still in service. There are also suggestions that the rampant cases of desertion stem from the harsh treatment of lower-ranked officers, a claim Kano Kulaije dismisses outright. He's of the view that the errant officers most probably joined the forces for the wrong reasons, expecting rapid material gain or as an option out of poverty, which is not the correct attitude for enlisting. They came hoping for higher pay, for a big pay rather, they reach here, it is not as big as expected, so they leave. For those nursing thoughts of leaving the army at a whim, they should bear in mind that upon arrest under Section 146 of the UPDF Act, a culprit is liable to suffer a heavy penalty if he or she deserted with any firearms. The person deserts with arm or ammunition, okay, and other materials, is liable to suffer death, or in any case, Right to life imprisonment. Under the UPDF Act, any officer is eligible for decommissioning from the forces after serving at least nine years and only through a laid down procedure and sound reasons are presented to the committee in charge of retirement.